2. After some tense words between Sheila and Gerald, an attempt by Mrs. Burling to usher the inspector away, and the revelation that Eric is a drunk, Gerald admits that he too had known Daisy Renton. He had met her at the local variety theatre, known to be the haunt of prostitutes, and had rescued her from the unwelcome attentions of Alderman Megarty, a local dignitary. When he found out that Daisy was almost penniless, Gerald let her stay in the flat of a friend of his, and she became his lover. He ended the affair when he had to go away on business, giving her some money to see her through for a few months. Sheila is glad to have heard this confession from her fiancé. Although Mrs. Burling is scandalised, once Gerald has left to go for a walk and get over the news of Daisy's death, Inspector Gould shows a photograph to Mrs. Burling. She grudgingly admits, too, that she had seen the girl two weeks previously, when the girl, now pregnant, had come to ask for financial assistance from the women's charity organisation. Mrs. Burling was the chairwoman and persuaded the committee to deny the girl's appeal on the grounds that she had the impudence to call herself Mrs. Burling, and because she believed that the father of the child should bear the responsibility. She says the girl refused to let the father of the child support her because she believed money he had given her previously to be stolen, yet Mrs. Burling is proud of refusing the girl aid. She claims that she did her duty and sees no reason at all why she should take any responsibility for the girl's death. Right at the end of the scene, as Mrs. Burling denounces the father of the child and claims he needs to be made an example of, Sheila and the audience realise that Eric is involved. As Eric comes into the room, the act ends.